Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the New England Sports Center. It's Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. Tom Dings, our cameraman for this Saturday evening as the Hopkinton Hillers welcome in the Medfield Warriors. Medfield 8-2-2 two two on this season. The Hillers are 10-1-1 one and, one and on fire. A six game winning streak for the Hillers and they just continue to roll through the season. Medfield has also picked up some good momentum themselves as they are on a four game winning streak after taking down Ashland and Dedham this past week. Eric, it should be a great matchup between two TVL rivals that can't stand each other. It sure will, Tom. Uh, having been a coach for uh, about 10 games over the past uh, several years, uh, these teams always go at it, and they go at it hard. Um, you know, Midfield was at the top of the league for three or four years back a couple years ago, and Hopkins always played them tough, so we'll it'll probably be the same way here now that Hopkins uh, got the upper hand in the standings. These two teams have met up already once this season. Back on December 20th at Medfield, it was a 3-2 win for the Hopkinton Hillers and probably one of the toughest games of the season for the Hillers. It was certainly a great matchup and we should have another one here tonight as now we are going to send it down to ringside to pick up the public address announcements and the national anthem. Tonight's game between the visiting Medfield Warriors and your home team, Hawking Hillers. Just a reminder, Hillers are taking their head right by you all, as well as the spectators that every Chris Sarko event is an exception to the daily class of the which is what we get to the new play all the time. The team, coaches, and spectators, as well as the game players. They all have a head of the process of sites, if you want to talk about it. They're after the second game of the top, hard to play, coaches, defenders, players, right there, a certain crew of players. Also, easy. Auto carriers, auto carriers, it's the best. That's what the world is. Now, introducing your front line for your visit, Medfield Warriors. Number two, defense, David Burley. Starting defense, number three, Mason Junta. Here's starting left wing, number 16, Sean Tyre. Starting center, number 6, Ryan Johansson. Starting red wing, number 11, Dylan McNally. And your starting goaltender for your warrior, number 35, Mason Matthew. Head coach of Metro Warriors, number 2, Mr. Toby Bob. Now, introduce your home team, Pillars. Starting defense, number three, Matt Lindquist. Starting defense, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Your starting left wing, number 15, Stephen Steinle. Starting center, number 17, DJ Sloan. Starting running, number 22, Will Haddock. And starting goaltender, your captain, number 31, Dylan O'Leary. Head coach, Miller, Mr. Chris McPherson. Would you all please rise to celebrate our national anthem?
ready for Hopkinton Hillers. Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And this is a matchup between two of the top teams in the TVL. Hillers, they've already clinched a playoff spot. Medfield, they're just four points away from clinching a playoff spot. So likely we'll see some uh, good runs out of these two teams. And Eric, we mentioned it every game, but just such a great TVL uh, league this year for, for hockey. It's just so competitive. Top to bottom, Tom. It's just fun to watch. You know, every game, you know you're going to get a tough grind uh, from the, no matter who the opponent is. But the thing for the Hillers here is even though they made the tournament now, is you know, they still got some work to do and they just want to keep that gas pedal down. It's DJ Sloan and Ryan Johnson face off and we are underway here at the New England Sports Center as the Hillers try to move it into Medfield territory. Stuck in the neutral zone along the far side. Up to the Hillers zone as Lindquist picks it up. Let's get you the starters. We'll start off with Medfield. David Corrigan, Cameron Gayunta, Ryan Johnson, Dylan McNally, Sean Tyre, and the starting goalkeeper is M Mason Matthew for the 8-2-2 two two Medfield Warriors for the Hopkinton Hillers. It's Matt Lindquist and Andrew Gilbert. The defensemen, Steven Simos, DJ Sloan, and Will Abbott in the starting mix, and Dylan O'Leary, the starting goaltender for the Hopkinton Hillers. As Medfield already switching up a couple players on the ice. Back to the neutral zone we go as Kyle Rogers trying to break loose. Roger is able to get to it over to Abbott along the left circle. The shot it was deflected off a defenseman as Michael Foley picks it up for the Warriors. Minute into the action here at a pretty packed New England Sports Center. Good turnout for this one here on this Saturday evening. So that one handled by Hamlet. And that is set up by Mason Matthew. Kind of uh, back and forth battle we got going so far in this one. Along the near side is Brian Abley. Put into the neutral zone, picked up by Saparoshitz. Past the near side of Connor Delaney. There goes Delaney around the net. And of course the Hillers certainly going to miss Owen Delaney down the stretch. He's out for the season with an injury. That shot is wide to the left by Charles Spence. Jammed up along the near side corner. Saparoshitz got a stick on it as well as Hamlet. Here comes Medfield as John Schofield trying to break through. Picked up behind the net by Sean Walsh. Along the near side is Liam Gately. Jammed up in the corner. Saparoshitz missing on the hit. That shot by Michael Tyre. Shot deflected coming in from the right circle from Charles Spence. Over in the corner, John Schofield for Medfield. Medfield kind of maintaining control over the last minute or so, as we'll have both teams switch it up. Also notice, Tom, during warm-ups, uh, looks like Hunter Temple's missing from the lineup. I don't know if he's sick or got an injury. Uh, one of the Hopkins' real good speed guys. Looks like he's out tonight also. We'll have to check in on his status. Shot from the blue line just over the head of O'Leary. Shot attempt by David Corrigan. Here comes the Hillers, DJ Sloan on a quick break. Sloan contested along the left circle by Corrigan. Sloan and Corrigan going at it. Zabit got a stick on it briefly, but now it's taken back by Medfield. Over along the far side, Gilbert. Puts it back down to Simos. Abbott pushes it back. Back to the Hillers defensive zone we go. Lindquist picks it up. Over along the far side boards, Sean Tyre. Towards the corner, Andrew Gilbert. Across the Lindquist, and now Simon's got a stick on it. Hillers having a little bit of trouble getting it out of their zone in these early minutes, Eric. Yeah, good forecheck for midfield here. They're really showing some emotion here, really keeping the puck in. That one almost took out a fan along the far side as Tommy Hamblett and Michael Foley got tied up. We will have a face off. The Hillers gonna switch up the talent on the ice. Back into the game, Kyle Rogers. Sean Walsh is also into the game and Tommy Hamblett. It's Walsh on the face off. Shot from the right circle, wide to the left by Foley. 
Medfield looking for another shot here. That one deflected by a defenseman. Went off the stick of Walsh on the Liam Gately attempt. Here comes the Hillers. They have an opportunity here. Coming up ice, Hamblet on the near side boards. Back to the corner it goes. Picked up by Gately. Cross to Foley. There's Gately. Puts it off the glass. Turned around by Rogers. He's trying to get it down to Hamblet. Hamblet on the left circle. Backhanded pass, just got past the stick of Walsh. On the near side board, Kyle Rogers. That one just wide to the right by Delaney. Saporoshitz trying to turn it around. And we'll get a whistle here. A hand pass. Noticing, Tom, the uh, Hill is changing up the strategy a little bit here in the forecheck. They were doing two man forecheck with three guys back at the blue line. I think they're just trying to neutralize midfield in their breakout, trying to make sure they can keep it from getting that home run pass down the side. Face off in the Hillers defensive zone. DJ Sloan up against Sean McTavish. Up to the blue line. Put around the end boards by Corrigan. Picked up in the corner by Schofield. He was contested by a couple of Hillers. Back to the blue line. Gayunta looking for a shot. Tied up with Abbott along the near side boards. Abbott sets up Sloan. Sloan on a quick break to the net. Rister, and it is a save by the goaltender, Mason Matthew. Nice play by Abbott. He saw Sloan coming with speed and just gave him a little drop pass. Send him in. Matthew able to glove that one. Pretty good shot, too. Looked like he was trying to go five hole on that one. Over in the high slot. Now back to the neutral zone. Up the near side, Johnson. Top of the circle, and that one off of O'Leary. And the rebound. Still alive in the slot before we get a whistle. They're going to have a hook and penalty on Simos. Well, Simos. No, Sloan, sorry. And Sloan was trying to not allow Cameron Gayuta to get the rebound shot off. Midfield showing some real speed themselves early on here. They certainly are. We have ourselves a game here tonight, I think, Eric. Yeah, a few times this year we saw the Hills get off to a slow start before they uh, got the Jets going. Right. Stolzenbach back to the blue line. Spence looking for the shot. Wide to the right. Over along the far side, Johnson. Behind the net and trying to jam it in on the corner there. And that is a wrister from Abley off a defender. Dylan McNally was just trying to sneak it in in the corner before Abley launched that wrister off the rebound. Back to the blue line, Foley around the boards. Picked up by McNally. Jammed up in the corner, Abley. Abley contested by Connor Delaney, trying to sneak it in there. Nicely done by the defenseman. Connor Delaney sticking with it the whole way. Hiller's trying to burn off the power play. They got 116 left to go. That went off of O'Leary's leg pad. Back to the blue line, set up on the circle. O'Leary has to deflect that shot attempt from the far side circle by Johnson. Ryan Johnson, player to look out for on Medfield. 17 points on the season overall. Abley at the blue line. Abbott was trying to break away with that one, but a couple Warriors in front of him. Charles Spence coming up ice now, working against Abbott. A couple of good looks early for Medfield on the power play. Has some real quality shots. Certainly is. 8.40 and counting left to go in the first period. And Dylan O'Leary coming up big again early. Yeah, O'Leary's going to have his work cut out for him tonight, I think. The way Medfield has put the pressure on so far. One thing I've noticed here early, the uh, Warriors have been a lot of winning a lot of the offensive zone faceoffs uh, right back for some good shots. So Hill is going to bear down a little bit more in the faceoff circle here. 25 seconds left on the midfield power play. Hiller's trying to burn the remaining time off. And we have a breakaway here. Kyle Rogers coming up ice. And he is quickly knocked down. Behind the net, Sean Walsh picks it up along the near side corner. Back to the blue line. That shot wide to the left by Lindquist. Over in the far side corner, Cameron Gayuta for midfield. Back to the near side of Schofield. Is Lindquist able to get a stick on it? Looking for the shot there was Foley. 
Sean Walsh trying to get around a couple of defenders. Lindquist picks that one up. Takes it into the neutral zone along the far side. He takes a hard hit into the boards there from the tire. Back to even strength. Nicely done by the Hillers, burning off the power play. Shot here, and that one wide to the right by Tyre. Back to the blue line. Spence was hoping for more of a piece of that shot attempt. That went off of O'Leary, jammed up along the side of the net. O'Leary being put to work early and often. Medfield leading with shots on goal, 8-2. to two. The turnaround and the deflection. What a save by O'Leary. Schofield off the rebound, had wide open net in front of him. O'Leary quickly just put his leg right in front of that shot and was able to deflect it. Yeah, Hill has got to regroup here. Just a little bit too much running around on their defensive end. That's not something they normally do. I'm sure they'll get that worked out. But O'Leary's been spectacular so far. He's keeping him right in this game. He certainly has. Right now he's the uh, player of the game, without a doubt. Ryan Johnson, top of the circle, wide to the left goes Ruzo. Along the far side, here comes Abbott being contested by Gately. And I think uh, Medfield keying in on Abbott. Turns that around, out in front, Sloan was trying to poke it through. Here come the Warriors, along the far side, McNally. Quick break, it's met with Simos, trying to leave it out in front, couldn't get the stick on it. Sloan up along the near side, Sloan comes away with it, leaves it out in front, Abbott coming down ice. One on one, in the right circle, sets it up. Trying to set up Sloan there, but jumping in front. There's a couple of defenders, Gately and now Johnson, who's coming away with it. Johnson, and O'Leary's going to wrap that one up. Ryan Johnson, a lot of speed coming up the ice there. The best chance so far for the Hill is Abbott taking the puck down low and finding Sloan all alone in front. Nice save by the midfield goaltender. Well, we typically don't see the Hillers in this position, trailing with shots on goal 10 to 3. Right now, Medfield winning the possession battle. In the circle, Sean Walsh, Bruce Abley. Brian Abley, excuse me. Top of the circle, around the end board. Picked up by Gilbert. Top of the circle, that one off of O'Leary by Brian Abley. Back to the neutral zone, picked up by Schofield the fourth. Thomas Schofield the fourth, coming up ice quickly. Lindquist up behind the net for the Hillers. And here he comes. Hopkinton having all kinds of trouble getting it out of the zone as we approach six minutes left to go in the first period. Along the corner. Hillers with an opportunity here. Three on two going up ice. Cameron Gayunta contesting Hamblet. Gayunta wins that battle. Sean Walsh getting in on the action on the far side. Now it's going to be picked up back ice by Sheamus, just recently hopped into the game. Up the near side of Abbott. Abbott puts it across over to Rogers. Warriors sticking with the Hillers all throughout this game. Wherever the puck goes, Benfield just swarms it. Walsh along the far side, back to Abbott. Picked up along the near side by Gately. Here come the Warriors. And a two on one there, but that was turned away by Sheamus. Now another opportunity here. Into the circle, setting it up out in front. O'Leary gets it away. Spence on the backhander there. Spence puts it around the net. Connor Delaney up behind the net, giving a nice hit there to keep it in Hiller's possession. DJ Sloan trying to come away with it. And now an opportunity here. Deflected by Connor Delaney. Nice defensive play there by Connor. Up along the far side is DJ Sloan. Here comes Sloan. Puts it over to the right circle. Simos looking for a shot there. That was turned away nicely by Charles Spence. Spence up to Tyre. Back to the far side we go. Coming up ice, Johnson leaves it behind. In the right circle, and O'Leary being put to work here, and that one is going to get tied up. As O'Leary gloves the Charles Spence backhander. Well, this is a great battle between two very good teams we got going here, but right now, Eric, Medfield winning the possession battle 13 yeah, 3. Up, Shots on goal. Faceoffs are just killing the Hillers here, too, in their own end. 
Certainly a rare position so far to see the Hillers in, but Dylan O'Leary playing fantastic. Top of the circle, wide to the right, on that shot by Cameron Gayunta. Here comes Hopkinton as Tommy Hamlet able to poke it away, and we're going to get a whistle here. Going to be short-handed again, the Hillers. Griffin Zach met up with Sean Tyre. That one's going to work in midfield's favor, it appears. And actually, it's going to be Andrew Gilbert heading to the box. That's the one thing the Hill has got to be careful here with a, a really tough, fast midfield team. The last thing I want to be doing is giving them extra power plays here, the man advantage. And this is going to be the second power play of the game for the Warriors. As Drew Seperosic is going to take a break. Five on four. Coming up the far side, Abbott. Abbott into the left circle. He's met with a couple of Warriors. Now jammed up along the far side corner. Three minutes, 30 seconds left to go in this first period. And the Warriors just swarming the puck whenever it goes anywhere close to Abbott. I think they've done their research. Sean Tyre coming up the near side. Meets up with Sloan. Tyre tripped up there. Steven Simos trying to come away with it. Simos doing some nice work behind the net to get it out of there. Abley on the near side for the Warriors. Out in front to the far side it goes. Ryan Johnson at the blue line. Puts it around the end boards. Warriors trying to wrap around. Back to the blue line. And that sets up the shot and save. The shot was by Ryan Johnson on the one-timer. O'Leary wraps it up and the Warriors going to switch their line. This is one spot where they really miss uh, Owen Delaney having that fourth uh, penalty killer so they can just rotate him through there. He's one of their best penalty killers. 101 left on the power play for Medfield. 252 and counting left to go in the first period. Along behind the net, Foley. Well, he's jammed up in the corner. Oh, glass just broke over there. Ooh, wow. Well, it was uh, Matt Lindquist and Foley going at it, and they must have slammed that glass pretty hard. Let's see, we're going to have a stoppage here for a little cleanup. And now the official uh, talk to the scores table, and I think they're going to have to call uh, some staff members to help clean this up. Uh, we've seen it all this year, Tom. We're having a lot of firsts. I mean, you, you see that happen in the pros, but I've never seen it happen in a high school game. And, and it was some pretty hard hitting, but... It, it wasn't, it didn't seem too, too hard. No, it seemed when it shattered, nobody was actually near it. Right. I guess they it was hit it reverberation. just the right, Yeah. <laughs> they hit it just the right way, I guess. So we're going to get a stoppage here. Right now, Medfield, uh, they're having their way with the Hopkinton Hillers in this one. But Un unlike the uh, the professionals, too, we don't have a bull gang that's ready at hand. I'm feeling it's going to take a little while for them to find the, uh, the rink guys to get this changed out. Right. 2.39 left to go in the first period. Medfield having their way, but it's still a scoreless game, Eric. Hillers are defending very well, and Dylan O'Leary just playing fantastic. Yep. You know, this actually might be a good uh, good thing for the Hillers, just get them settled down a little bit, this break. Coaches can talk to them. They, uh, Coach McPherson and Coach O'Connor are always great at getting them refocused, and I think, uh, you know, this will be a good reset for them. All right, well, as they try to uh, get this glass fixed up, we're going to step aside and take a timeout. We'll be back with more Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp coming up next. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. 
Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. An interesting stoppage in this Hopkinton Medfield game. Broken glass on the far side of the arena as a couple of players met up along the boards. The glass broke with 2.39 left in the first period. So we are going to continue on and play out the remaining two minutes and 39 seconds left in the first period. We are scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. And Medfield on a power play for 47 more seconds. And right now the officials going back to the glass to take a look, make sure it's secure. And perhaps maybe it's a little bit loose because they seem to be over there for quite a while. The stoppage lasted about 15 minutes. It was at 6.39, it's 6.55 now, about 15 minutes or so. That's pretty good. That's not as long as the stoppage as I envisioned. No, I didn't either, Tony. You know, of course, they, uh, you know, they're not geared up like the pros here to have everybody ready to come out, but they did it in pretty good fashion here. But this uh, incident might not be over yet because it appears the uh, officials are not liking something they are seeing. A few extraneous pieces of glass laying around. So I think they want to sweep that up and make sure we are safe to go. Certainly don't want any players getting caught by glass, that's for sure. Well, that's something you don't see uh, too often in high school hockey, broken glass, Eric. No, it certainly isn't. So they're cleaning that up and fine-tuning it. And hopefully we'll get this game underway soon. I know the teams are antsy and they want to continue on. And the way they're going to do this is we're going to play out the remaining 239 in this first period. And then we're pretty much going to go right into the second period. There'll be a short little break. And then they'll pick up with the second period. So that was pretty much the intermission due to the broken glass incident. Yeah, and I think that break right there, Tom, was, was good for the Hillers. I think they needed a little reset there. They were on their heels. Uh, Medfield was uh, pretty dominant in that first period. This will help them kill off the rest of this penalty here and hopefully get a good start. All right, we are ready for hockey. DJ Sloan, Brian Abley in the faceoff circle. 239 and counting left to go in this first period. The glass has been fixed and we are good to go. The Warriors working in the Hillers defensive zone as Abbott trying to poke it out. Shot from the top of the circle, gloved by O'Leary. Rister there by Johnson. We'll have another face-off. Clock stopped at 226 left. 33 seconds left on the power play. Looking for the setup around the slot area. Back to the blue line to Spence. Puts it around the end boards. Picked up by Simos. Simos risks it into midfield territory. Well, here's Charles Spence behind the net, setting it up. Up along the far side is Abley. That one almost to the Hiller's bench. Stayed in play. And we'll get a whistle here with 155 left to go. Stevie Samuels dropping back to his natural position of defense for the penalty kill here. Two seconds left on the penalty kill for the Hillers. Well, this is the second power play that they've had to deal with in this game, and they've done pretty well with the penalty kill so far tonight. Yep, and they've uh, definitely uh, picked up on the faceoff too, winning all three faceoffs they've had so far this after the break. We're back at even strength now as we get another stoppage. Almost took out another board over there on the far side. <laughs> Think anyone's going to be leery anytime they go near the glass for the rest of the game. If they take out another one, let's just call this a 0 0 tie and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of the evening. <laughs> At that point, it just wasn't meant to be. Midfield back into the defensive zone. Corrigan puts it into the neutral zone up the near side, fully looking for the shot. Zaporoshitz puts it around the boards to Hamlet. And that was obviously an extended break from what you'd normally have in the intermission. Do you think that would have a negative impact in any kind of way in staying loose for this game, Eric? Uh, sometimes it can. I, I think they were, you know, they, like I said, the hill is ready for a reset. I think, it's, if anything, it benefited them. Uh, Medfield probably wanted that to continue with the way they were playing early on. Right. Back of the net, Schofield the fourth, trying to set it up in the slot. That's poked out by Hamlet. Back to the neutral zone we go. Cameron Gayuta puts it across to the far side of Corrigan. Less than a minute left to go in the first period now. Another hit along the far side of the board as Sean Walsh gave a shoulder to Michael Tyre. 
And if you look at the, the shots so far in the game, uh, the Hillers are down, and, and out of the three they've had, the only one's been real quality out in front with Sloan, and Midfield's had uh, a handful at least of real quality shots with Dylan O'Leary making some great saves. 50 seconds left now, and that one put out of play. A lot of pucks leaving the ice surface in this first period, too. Yeah, we've almost had a couple of fans taken out here tonight as well. Yeah, somebody got hit in the arm pretty hard, looked like, early on in the period. Oof. Keep your eyes up, people. <laughs> Can't be looking at your phones at, a, <laughs> at this uh, game between these two teams. Up the near side, Matt Lindquist. Sloan trying to poke it out there. Back to the neutral zone, quick break up ice. That is McTavish looking for the shot, some nice stick work there over to the far side. Lindquist lost an edge. Russo with possession, puts it around the end board, back to McTavish. McTavish now puts it behind the net. Miller's pick it up as Lindquist gets in on the action. Now into the slot, O'Leary is able to push that one away. And now a secondary attempt by Michael Tyre, no good, wide to the left on the wrister. Three seconds left in the first period, and that will do it. A scoreless first period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. And they are going to switch ends and get the second period underway pretty quickly. So right now we'll take a quick timeout. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. We are ready for the second period, and here we go. A quick break after the first period due to the earlier stoppage because of the broken glass. So we are getting the second period underway right now as the Hillers trying to work into midfield territory. Abbott along the far sides, leaves it out in front. Put back by Terry, now near side Walsh. Or excuse me, McNally up against Sheamus. Nally tied up in the corner, poked out by Sloan. Sloan over to Simos. Simos on a quick break. Up the far side, the wrister, and that is wrapped up by Mason Matthew. Well, Eric, it was a 14-3 first period as far as shots on goal are concerned, and that stat was in favor of Medfield. The Hillers, they really need to get something going here. Yeah, they're very lucky that it's still a 0-0 game. Dylan O'Leary, of course, playing fantastic so far in this one. DJ Sloan in the face-off circle for the Hillers. Here comes Charles Spence. It's along the near side. Poked out by Schofield. Now picked up by Gilbert, who puts it over to Lindquist. Put up the ice by Hamlet. Turned around by Spence for Medfield. For the Hillers to change the momentum here, they've got to get their four-check going. That's worked so well for them this year. Inquist puts that one off of Matthew. Trying to sneak one by him there. 13.45 and counting left to go in the second period. Pretty much we've made up almost for the uh, time that was lost due to the broken glass stoppage. Griffin Zach along the near side. Behind the net is Lindquist. They also brought the Zamboni out during the broken glass stoppage to smooth out the ice and make sure that all the glass was cleared off. Walsh behind the net for the Hillers, leaving it for Simos. Now the Warriors gain control as Charles Spence coming up the far side. Here he comes. Gives it towards the blue line. Pulled through by Connor Delaney. Delaney. Works it up the ice towards Walsh. Now into the corner, Abbott. He meets up with Cayunta. Abbott and Simos into the corner. Medfield comes away with it. There's Schofield, contested by Connor Delaney. Saparoshitz picks it up. Back to Abbott. Saparoshitz behind the net. 
try the near side this time. That one handled by Saparoshitz once again, who's doing some great defensive work tonight. And Matthew comes out of the net for that one. Try to set it up, DJ Sloan gets there very quickly. Over to Simos on the far side, puts it around the end boards towards Abbott. Here comes the Warriors as Larry puts it down the ice. Picked up by Lindquist. Chasing it around the net, David Corrigan. Corrigan to the near side. Over to Spence. Put back into midfield territory by Gilbert. Well, the Hillers, I think, gaining a little momentum possession-wise, putting a little bit more pressure than they were able to get in the first period in midfield territory. Around the net. Hamlet sets it up, and the shot from the top of the circle is deflected, but shot was by Lindquist. Gilbert along the near side. Yeah, this is what they need, a few shifts uh, down in midfield zone. Give the defense a little rest. 11.30 and counting, left to go in the second period. Still scoreless between Medfield and Hopkinton. But Medfield certainly has the momentum. Hiller's trying to change that, and almost a shot here. Nice defensive work, and that one is going to be wrapped up by O'Leary on the Ryan Johnson attempt. It was Brian Abley getting in there initially. And then uh, Johnson on the rebound. I think one of the reasons, Tom, we're really not seeing a lot of offense out of the Hillers is that uh, 2-3 defense they're playing. They've got that third man back. They're respecting the midfield's speed back there. They're trying to reduce their opportunities. Top of the circle, missed shot by Foley. And this midfield team, they're fast as well. They could keep up with the Hillers. There's not a lot of teams that can match the speed that the Hillers present. Out in front, Abbott was trying to sneak it in the corner. Simos along the near side. Coming up is Abley, tested by Simos, who will Put that one off of Matthew, but then we'll get a whistle. Clock stopped at 10.51 as the Warriors will switch up their line. And a game this close, what it comes down to is uh, turnovers. Everyone just wants to be careful, make sure they're picking up their man. No chances. You want to make sure you're definitely going to get to that puck. For those of you just joining us, it's been a wild one between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. Still scoreless in the second period. 10.45 and counting left to go. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. Tom Ding's our cameraman this evening. Picked up along the far side by Connor Delaney. Well, there's Sloan. He's met with a hit along the far side boards. Connor Delaney trying to chase it down. Connor Delaney's been getting a lot more playing time since Owen Delaney got hurt a few games ago. He's one of the many that have been counted on to try to make up for that Lost production. Abbott along the near side corner. Abbott matched up with a couple of Warriors. No one to bail him out, but he's able to put it to the blue line, the wrister, and that is a glove save by Matthew Andrew Gilbert on the shot attempt. Good look. He had Griffin cutting right to the net there. Could have got a stick on that. Could have been a good deflection. Almost. But they're definitely picking up their opportunities, getting a lot better looks here so far in this period. They certainly are. It's 2-2 two to two as far as shots on goal in this second period. On the near side corner, Spence. Here come the Warriors up the far side. There's Ryan Johnson looking for the shot, and that opportunity is diverted by Lindquist. Charles Spence chases it down for the Warriors up behind the net. Comes around as Griffin Zach is trying to get it back for the Hillers. There's Hamlet. Along the near side, Gately. Tommy Hamlet was trying to steal it away, but Sean Tyre got in front of him. Back and forth we go in this second period. No teams have really been able to come away with any momentum since the start of this second period. But now Medfield looking for a shot here. O'Leary will wrap that one up. That was Ryan Johnson. Warriors will switch up their line again. Hillers switch it up a couple players. Abbott's back into the game. One thing the Hillers got to look here, Tom, is in their own end. They're having trouble breaking it out, so they're just flipping it out. And when they do that, they're losing possession. They've got to get their, their breakout working so they can take possession down the other end. Abley matched up against Sloan. Top of the circle. Oregon put that to the far side. Picked up by Schofield, the fourth. Turned away by Abbott. 
Gayunta leaves that one in the slot. He's off the stick of Foley. Over in the far side corner, Abley. Abley looking for a shot here, and that one is going to be another incredible save by O'Leary. He was just able to glove that one, Eric. Yeah, he's sharp, he's on, he's, he's keeping him close. So. I wasn't sure if it got by him initially. That, that was such a fast shot. Dylan O'Leary saving the Hillers in this one so far. Still scoreless, approaching eight and a half left in the second period. In the left circle. As McTavish was contested quickly by a number of Hillers. Sloan pokes it up the far side. That one put back by Corrigan. Saparoshitz picks it up. Off the boards he goes. Turned around by O'Leary. There's Connor Delaney up towards Abbott. Pokes it through, quick break here. Stymos into the right circle and he's tripped up. Just lost his footing there, but had an opportunity for a wide open shot. Now below eight minutes left to play in the second period. The Stymos just tied up along the far side corner with about four midfield players and that'll be put back into the neutral zone. Here come the Warriors. Looked out in front, O'Leary got the stick on that one. Here's Lindquist. Up the far side, Lindquist into the circle, the wrister, and that's off the warrior, Brian Abley, who was out in front of him. Nice job by the defenseman. It's so another one of those character games, Tom. We know the Hillers have skill and speed and uh, some great flashy uh, play they've had early on, but this is the type of game that's going to be a grinding game. So I think they're able to play both types of games, and we'll see how they do with the, you know, grinding this one out. Yeah, and this feels like a game that will go right down to the wire. Rister wide to the right goes Hamlet. Picked up along the far side, Lindquist. Now into the corner, it's Spence for Medfield. That's taken back by Hamlet, who's trying to set it up in the slot. Here comes McNally. Nally into the circle, trying to backhand it, O'Leary, and that's going to be a midfield goal. I wasn't sure if it was McNally, who's, I believe it was McNally who was able to poke that one in. And a lot of traffic in front, and he was able to come free. It's tough to see who that was. Well, sooner or later, you keep putting the pressure on, you got to think something's going to happen. Something's got to give. Dylan McNally with a nice breakaway. Went for the backhander in front of O'Leary and then it was put in on a secondary attempt. 7.02 left to go in the second period, 1-0 Medfield. Well, the Warriors playing themselves quite a game so far this evening. Still a long way to go, however. Up the near side. Nice shoulder there by Sloan as Johnson was trying to break away with it. There's Abley, puts it back towards the neutral zone. Getting to the far side of Schofield. Put around the boards by Foley. And there he sets it up for Sheamus. Back up the far side boards we go. It's taken over by Liam Gately. Gately back to Schofield the fourth. A shot wide to the right. So Sean Tyre, who scored the goal for the Warriors, got the confirmation. And it was McNally on the assist. So nice job by McNally getting out in front of the net and setting up Tyre. Poke it through. A rare goal against Dylan O'Leary. But now a quick break here for the Hillers as it was Griffin Zach trying to come away with it. Zach tied up along the boards by a couple of Warriors. Sloan pokes it out. Top of the circle to Lindquist. Warriors trying to sneak away with it there, but Andrew Gilbert had something to say about it. You get a whistle as crosses in a midfield defensive zone. 532 left to go in the second period. And I think that Division II schedule that Medfield plays is you know, seeing the benefit of that for them. They play a lot of tough teams, so they are able to grind it out with a team like the Hillers. Right. 
Oh yeah, they've certainly had a good amount of competition. Here comes Sean Walsh. Around the net. Looking to set it up. Those two Rogers. Back to the blue line of Lindquist. He wrists it in the air over to Walsh. Walsh. Back towards the blue line and Lindquist picks it up. Top of the left circle, puts it around the end boards. There's Charles Spence. Up to O'Leary. Spence. Now O'Leary once again. Less than five minutes left to go in this second period. Risser wide to the left, Lindquist. Along the near side corner, Walsh. Front and a change. Walsh lost his stick, he had a move up to pick it up along the near side boards. Hill Hamblett and Gaiuta meet up. Well, Larry will wrap this one up. Hill's defense was changing at that time too and he's dropping it back. They just gotta make sure you got to turn around quick and look and make sure your defenseman's there if you are gonna drop it back. Right. Well, Medfield uh, putting the pressure on once again and trying to pull off what would be an incredible win for the Warriors. They were able to hang on and beat the Hillers here tonight. And that would actually uh, move Medfield to the top of the TVL. There's Corrigan coming around the net. That one diverted by Gilbert. Put out of the right circle by Gayun to the far side. Warriors trying to set something up here. In the slot, and it's another goal. Dylan McNally to Ryan Johnson, and Johnson scores Medfield's second goal. Just a breakdown there. You, you got to pick up your mirror coming down. Left that guy uncovered on the back side. He was all alone. No chance for O'Leary on that one. And that was just great puck distribution and great vision by McNally and Johnston. They had the two on one and they took advantage. The thing here is just not the panic. The Hellers have the talent. They could definitely come back. They just want to you know, take it one goal here at a time, not panic. 2 nothing lead for Medfield. Four minutes left to go. Hiller is working in the midfield defensive zone. Abbott giving a little push along the near side. Simos, a little hard shoulder there. To tell the intensity of the hits for the Hillers picking up. Certainly a little bit of frustrations after giving up two goals in the second period so far. I'm going to whistle here. Attention. Lady tries to turn it around. We're going to have a timeout. Attentional offside. Looks like they're going to bring it all the way down to midfield's end. Miller's going to switch up the talent on the ice. 3.34 left to go in this second period. A 2-0 lead for the Medfield Warriors. Sean Walsh into the faceoff circle for the Hillers. Lindquist at the line. Left in front, wide to the left. That's put to the slot by Gilbert. Picked up and taken around the net by Walsh. And he's contested. Looks like they're going to go for a holding here. Yep. This is just what the Hillers need. Yeah, they need, desperately need a power play. Medfield has already had two opportunities. Oddly enough, the Hillers have been great on the penalty kill. And they have not given up a goal on the two power plays. But now they'll have one of their own. And I think. Uh, at this point in the game, you got to take advantage of this. Yeah, this could be a big swing of momentum if they could pop one in here. 3.07 left to go in the second period. Into the box for the Warriors is Liam Gately. DJ Sloan up against O'Leary. Off the near side boards, picked up by Lindquist. Nice play. around. And Sloan tied up. Abbott will pick it up. Back to Lindquist. Now Abbott. It's been very tough for the Hillers to try to get Will Abbott the puck tonight. Yeah, as you said, Tom, I think his reputation uh, precedes him. They're, uh, they're watching him make sure he doesn't get anything open. Cameron Gaiunta jumping for that shot. Hillers looking for another shot here along the right circle. Simos. Gets it around the net to Abbott. Abbott to Lindquist. I'll try to get the puck towards that defenseman who doesn't have a stick. Right. Here is Connor Delaney trying to leave that one in the slot. 114 left on the power play for the Hillers. 
Wister by Johnson to put it in the Hillers territory. O'Leary sets it up. Good look. 12 left to go. Sloan with an opportunity. The wrister, and that's wrapped up by Matthews. What a heads up play by O'Leary. He saw Sloan standing at the opposing blue line all alone. Got that puck right up to him. That yeah, certainly was a good opportunity there, and nice save by Matthews. 55 seconds left on the power play. Got to roll the clock back a little. Kept running there after the whistle. And a couple of seconds. 201 is on the clock right now. Now it's 206. Of course, the Hillers coaches want to make sure they have all the time <laughs> they can. To Especially try to on come the power back. play. Right. Get back around the net. Sloan to the blue line of Gilbert. Wraps it around the end boards. Simos picks it up. Simos turns it around. There's Sloan behind the net. Sloan was looking for something in the slot. No one there. Saparoshitz back to Sloan. Jammed up along the corner. Abbott back to the neutral zone. Gilbert to Sloan. Sloan met with a, some hard contact there with Gaiuta, and he's down. Gaiuta taking some. Hard contact from Sloan. That was just incidental contact. They just pretty much ran into each other. And maybe just a little bit winded, and we'll have a stoppage here as it gets tied up along the near side corner. Uh, tough for the Hill as they had the momentum going in, but for an injured play, they have to right. stop the whistle there. I, I think he just got him right in the gut. I think he's just winded. And he initiated the contact, too. And Sloan kept going, driving to the net. Yep. Yeah, he just ran pretty much right into Sloan. Yeah, I think he got hit on the inside of the knee, maybe. So he will be helped off the ice by a couple of teammates. He appears to have a smile on his face as he's being helped off as well. So hopefully he'll be able to shake it off. Well, 10 seconds to go. The Hills really need to win this faceoff so they can keep it in here for the last 10 seconds. Watch that guy coming out of the box. 10 seconds on the power play, 121 left in the second period. Hillers trailing 2-0. Over the near side corner. Abbott takes it back to the blue line. Connor Delaney looking to put that one through. That one was off the pad of Matthew. Up the near side, Johnson takes it over to the left circle. Abbott. Shuts down that attempt. And he's jammed up along the boards with the puck in front of him. Surprisingly, no whistle there. A little bit of a tackle there. Right. Along the far side, Simos. So the power play is officially killed by Medfield. 40 seconds left to go in the period as Connor Delaney trying to turn it around. He's briefly contested. Now Gately at the center circle wraps it around. Picked up behind the net by Lindquist. Risk that one up into the crowd. Souvenir for a lucky fan. And yeah, just the Hillers are being contested at every every turn of the puck there. The Medfield is just on them. As soon as they try to make a play, there's one or two Medfield guys right there. They're not giving them any room to use their speed. The Hillers are having trouble you know, maintaining the puck. They're just trying to fire it out and not main, uh, maintaining the possession. The Warriors clearly came ready to play tonight. Sean Walsh into the faceoff circle up against Abley. Warriors love another goal here, but now we have a steal along the far side. Here comes Sean Walsh into the right circle. He has speed, risks that one. And that did not go where he was open. Now Medfield with an opportunity here. It's quickly coming down is Abley. Abley risks that one, and that's another Medfield goal. Three goals in the second period. He top shelves that one into the right corner of the net. That was a nice shot by Abley. Yeah, Medfield showing some real speed there. As I said, nice top shelf shot. And no one could get in front of him. Looked like O'Leary had a little bit of a screen on that one, too. Right. Well, now a 3 nothing game for the Warriors. You hate to give up one right with a few seconds left in the period, too. Yep. And that will do it for the second period. Certainly not what the Hillers hoped for on that one. 
As it is now, after two periods, Medfield three, the Hillers nothing. You are tuned in to uh, Hopkins and Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HK. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center as we are just about ready for the third period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. The Hillers 10-1 and 1 coming into this game. Medfield 8-2 two and 2. And Eric, tonight, so far, it's been Medfield tonight as they lead 21-8 shots on goal, 3-0 on the scoreboard, all three goals coming in the second period. Yeah, they just, they really dominated the Hillers in, in terms of shots and the edge of play there. They're just stifling them. They're not giving them any opportunities to get their speed, get their passing going. So it's not an insurmountable lead, but they're going to have to play a, a perfect third period. They're going to have to get a quick one here to get the momentum going their way. And they certainly have the talent to get back into this game. And they can put up goals at a rapid pace, but with the way Medfield's defending tonight, it, that is uh, certainly going to be a tall task for the Hillers. And Medfield took advantage of a couple of nice breaks in that second period. And I just think that there was just too many open opportunities for the Warriors shooting-wise. Yeah, kind of uncharacteristic. Uh, the Hillers have been really good on defense. Uh, they had a couple of defensive breakdowns, uh, giving up a couple two-on-ones, and uh, both those shots were uh, in prime real estate right in front of the net there. They've got to cut down on that area and make sure they're uh, taking any kind of ideas out in front. Exactly. As we are ready for the face-off, and here we go. Third period underway. Warriors looking for an opportunity right off the bat as McNally was in the slot. Except in the pass from Johnson. And Johnson McNally, it's been a good combo for the Warriors in this game. That one left out in front. Over to the near side, picked up by Schofield. And here comes Sloan into the, the neutral zone, now into midfield territory. Trying to backhand that one. Number of players meeting up along the near side as Abbott sends that one flying. I think a defender might have got a piece of that one as Abbott was looking for the shot. 3-0 lead for the Medfield Warriors. Back to Medfield defensive zone it goes. And get the whistle. And the icing. Clock stopped at 14-12 on the icing pole. Off in the Hillers zone. Brian Abley set to take it for the Warriors. Going up against Sean Wolf. Warriors looking to secure what would be a huge win for them as a hard hit as Saperosius met up with Foley. That one got a nice response from the student section. Warriors would move to 9 2 and 2 if they hold on. That would Standings-wise, put them at the top of the TVL as they would have the tiebreakers. That one wide to the right. Yeah, but just missing that corner. Yeah, that was an opportunity for the Hillers right in front. They still have it out in front. Hamlet trying to poke it through once again. And some hard hitting in front of the net as Foley pretty much tackled Hamlet almost on that one. It looked like that the Hillers came out this period uh, a lot more sort of taking the body. I think they're looking to try to slow midfield down, give them a little dose of their own medicine. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't have a, we might have a penalty here. Looks like 
Brian Abley, uh, he's just coming out of the game. I, I'm surprised there was no penalty there. That was almost a straight out tackle. Yeah, he didn't have the puck. He could have called anything from interference to holding on that one. Right. Lindquist picking it up behind the net, battling O'Leary. Gilbert trying to poke it out. Shot here, Rister wrapped up by O'Leary. Sean McTavish trying to put a quick one in. Clock stopped at 13-18. Another face off in the Hiller zone. Well, the Warriors, pretty much all they have to do is do what they've been doing all game long, keep control. Yeah, the Hill is definitely going to have to change up their uh, aggressiveness here. Right. And I think Medfield, they're going to go into clock wasting mode as Valeri wraps that one up. Coming in for the Warriors, Dylan McNally, who has a goal today. Ryan Johnson, who has a goal today. So they bring in a couple of their top shooters. Now he turns that one around. Out in front, and that's another goal. Ryan Johnson risks that one right by O'Leary, and the frustrations continue for the Hillers. That's Ryan Johnson's second goal today for Medfield. That one comes with 12.57 left in the third. What the Hillers need to do now, Tom, being down 4-0, is they just want to make sure they, you know, not losing their cool. They're still playing the game that they need to play. You know, even if they get one or two back, they don't want to get it. Anybody get suspended or anything like that? Play smart rest of the game. Simos up the far side. And you think about maybe, and O'Leary's played well tonight, but trailing 4-0, you think about maybe giving uh, the other goaltender an opportunity? Now always a possibility. Uh, wait till a little bit more in the period. And here comes the Warriors once again. Rister, another goal. Ryan Johnson with a hat trick. He does it. Unbelievable. Ryan Johnson, one of the Top players in the TVL showing off why once again tonight. Be time for a timeout here for the Hillers. 12.35 left, 5 nothing lead for the Warriors. And the Hillers are going to keep their players out there. I'm sure a timeout's coming, especially if the Warriors just continue to score like this. It almost seems to me, though, have the Hillers just totally lost motivation right now? I don't think they've lost motivation, Tom. Just a lot of defensive breakdowns. They've just given Medfield way too many opportunities, and they're giving it to him in the center slot. They're just having great shooting chances. Now, as a former coach, is this a game that you just throw away the tape or you go back and watch it? No, you definitely watch it. You can see where the, where the breakdowns are occurring because you definitely want to get those fixed. I'm sure they uh, have... A lot of uh, lessons to learn from this one. Medfield dominating up five to nothing. Behind the net is Walsh up against Schofield the fourth. Over to the near side. I can't remember the uh, last time we saw the Hillers in a position like this, Eric. Yeah, it's been a while. But I think you gotta have games like this to learn some lessons, learn where your flaws are. Yeah. It happens to the best of them. Medfield's had games like this as well. Yeah. Here come the Hillers trying to respond. Sean Walsh up the far side into the left circle. Leaves it in the slot to turn around. That was nearly a goal by Hamlet. Matthews didn't even see that one coming, but it went off of a defender and just went a little bit wide to the right. Approaching 11.30 left to go in the third period. Kept into the neutral zone. Here comes Walsh. Top of the circle, Hamlet. Hamlet looking for the wrister. Now into the far side corner. Simos matched up against Tyre, but back into Hiller's territory, we'll get the icing. Now, so the last 11 minutes to go, what the Hillers want to do is they just want to try to get back to the, the way they've played early on in the year. They want to be able to build off of that, be able to get, when they uh, get ready for the next game. Set for the faceoff. 23 to nine shots on goal wise in favor of Medfield. Top of the circle there. Lindquist, it's to the far side, no one there. Picking it up in the corner, and Simos just missing a goal there. Jammed up along the near side corner. And Sloan trying to poke it out, put it out of play. Warriors will 
Switch up the talent on the ice. Clock stopped at 10.53. A high slot put off the far side boards. Abbott behind the net. Trying to turn it around. Here come the Warriors. Coming up the far side, McNally looking for number six. Puts it around the net. Trying to leave it out in the slot. No one there. Buck didn't make it to the goal line. Yeah, Warriors decided to keep the clock moving. Up the near side. That's put over to McNally, who has a goal today already. McNally nearly lost his stick, but able to hold on to it as he's matched up with Sheamus. Up the near side we go, quick break Sloan. Sloan approaching the circle, looking for the shot. Couldn't get the stick on it. A little misstep there by Sloan as Johnson comes up with it. Got to give credit to Ryan Johnson. What a night he's having. Hat trick to his credit. That one wide to the right by Corgan. Picked up behind the net by Walsh. Yeah, that feels, they've got real three good solid lines all the way through. They certainly do. Backhander, that one's deflected off a defenseman on the Hamlet attempt. 9.24 and counting, left to go. Chase down into the far side corner. Lindquist picks it up. Here come the Warriors. Get around the boards by Gilbert. And that one turned around by Walsh. Into the neutral zone, a two on one. Walsh, top of the circle, wrister. And that is a save by Matthew. And then on the rebound, it is knocked around by a couple of players. Abbott. Got a stick on it briefly, but then a great job by Brian Stolzenbach, the defenseman, who turned that away. Just nothing going the hill his way tonight, even the bounces. They've had a couple of good opportunities, and pucks have just bounced wide or just gone wider than that. Yeah, had goal written all over it, too. 8.51 left to go in regulation. 5 nothing lead for Medfield. Go field the fourth, trying to come up the near side. Simos giving a nice hit behind the net. Over on the far side, Sheamus. Puts it towards Sloan. Turned away, quick break here. Abley, Abley with the wrister, and that one wide to the right. And left out in the slot, and that one nearly poked through. O'Leary, I believe, wrapped it up, and now we have a little bit of uh, Pushing and shoving going on as Sheamus going at it with a with like Thomas Schofield a fourth. And you know, of course in hockey it's intense action and <laughs> yeah. you gotta take out your frustrations sometimes and there's a lot of pushing going on before that all happened. It looks like uh, midfield's gonna be short in hand here. Looks like it also got whistle for misconduct. Not quite sure what he did. I think he might have threw the first punch. Well, this uh, could at least get the Hillers on the scoreboard with 8.20 left. And there's going to be two in the box, it looks like, for Medfield as Michael Foley and Thomas Schofield are in there. And it will be a one-man advantage for the Hillers. Going to have him in there. Sorry, he's definitely got a misconduct, so he's going to have to stay in there for the rest of the game. So... Looks like Michael Foley's day is over. As well as Thomas Schofield. Well, again, the Hillers need to use this as building blocks for the next game here. Just get that offense going and get one in here at least. I'm sure their mission right now is just avoid the shutout. Up the near side, Sloan lost his stick. Picked up by Abbott. Pokes it back to Connor Delaney. Stick still out there and trying to pick it up. Around the end boards it goes. Matthew sets it up. Abbott. Back to the blue line. Connor Delaney with a nice shot there on the go. rebound. There's a Hiller's goal. Will Abbott. In the right place at the right time. That one off the post and right onto Abbott's stick. Connor Delaney had a very nice wrister. And Matthew was just able to get a piece of it. But fortunately for Medfield, Will Abbott was waiting right there. 
and put it in. And the Hillers able to take advantage of the power play. Again, that's a great momentum builder. You know, they can build off of that and still seven minutes left. So they just pick it up a notch on their offense. Yeah, 7.42 left, four goal deficit. Never know. Of course, the Hillers are gonna keep uh, they're gonna keep trying here. Here comes Medfield as I think they realize they gotta pick up the pace. So not let any crazy comeback happen. Slowing along the near side. Lindquist. Puts that one down the ice. Picked up by Spence. Here come the Warriors. And for Will Abbott, 17 goals on the season, 10 assists. That was point number 28 for Will Abbott. He's quietly moved himself up into fourth place on the Hill's all-time list, which is quite a feat. Right, and that's 28 this season. Unbelievable. And joined that 100-point club. Uh, the, the first three kids were on there. It's been 20 years since someone had got on there. And that was Kim Finlayson a couple of years ago, and now uh, Abbott's up there too. And uh, Connor Delaney on the assist. That's his sixth point of the season. Someone lost their glove at in the neutral zone. No one's claimed it yet. Here come the Warriors. Ryan Johnson in the high slot. Trying to turn it around and just puts that wide to the left of the net. Jammed up up behind the net. McNally trying to gain control. Warriors with an opportunity here and O'Leary will wrap that one up as Ryan Johnson is trying to sneak it in. Looks like the Hill is already making some adjustments and doing a lot better job picking up the open man in front, not giving up that rebound chance. Lock stopped at 6.15 as the Hillers make some changes. 5-1 Medfield lead. Warriors scored three goals in the second period, two more in this third, and Hiller is able to put one in. As chasing it down, Michael Foley he meets up with Gilbert. Now jammed up along the near side, Walsh. Abley sneaks that one around. Into the corner it goes, Foley. Warriors just trying to maintain control in the Hillers defensive zone and burn that time off the clock. And right now they're succeeding. They've burned some good time off this clock. Stolzenbach puts it to the far side. Rosalito up the boards. Five and a half and counting left. That one wristed down the ice. Picked up behind the net by Gately. Zaporoshitz. Down the near side board by Hamlet. Along the far side, Tyre. Matches up with Zaporoshitz. Connor Delaney. Puts that one behind the net, we'll get the icing. Well, Hill is certainly showing a little more uh, skip in the step there as they're uh, getting a little more aggressive. Yeah, showing some signs of life. <laughs> 456 left to go in the third period. Connor Delaney up behind the net. Far side of Simos. Abbott looking for goal number two, and that one is going to be off of Matthew. Here comes Medfield. We got a two on two now. In the slot, the wrister, glove save, O'Leary. Nice save by Dylan. Great breakout there by the Hillers. That's what they've been missing all game long. They were able to finally get their speed utilized there. That was Michael Tyre on the shot for Medfield. Slowing up against Johnson. Left out in front, O'Leary has to cover that one up. Clock stopped at 4.26. Up behind the net, Lindquist. Turn around by Sloan. Here comes Lindquist, the near side. 
Nice feed over to Simos. Medfield with an opportunity. Ryan Johnson up against O'Leary, trying to sneak it around him. Couldn't get the backhander. On the far side circle, O'Leary turns that one away. There's Johnson again. Sets it up top of the right circle and dive there by Gilbert. And we got a little uh, pushing and shoving going on here. This is the one thing the Hills definitely want to avoid. They don't want to get caught up in any of this and lose any more of their players. Yep. Well, there's the, the chippy you were talking about, <laughs> the chippiness. It looks like we are going to have some kind of penalty here on both teams. Lindquist and McNally. Although Lindquist was standing up for his own player. Looked like a little hit from behind there on the other defenseman. I don't think anyone's going to be on the power play, though. It won't no. be at even strength. It'll be even. Yeah, Gilbert got cross-checked in the back, and Link was coming over to help him out. I think both might be done for the night. Put up the far side. Zaporoshitz behind the net, picked up now by Walsh. Here come the Hillers. Quick break now, Walsh. Walsh on the top of the circle, turned away. Nice job by the defenseman, Charles Spence, hanging back. Here comes Spence. Over on the left circle. Leaves it to the blue line. To Lions the fourth. That one's wrapped up by O'Leary on the wrister. Clock stopped at 3.09 now. I don't know if there's a problem with the ice tonight, or the Hillers are all using the same skate chopper, guys. See a lot of people losing some edges tonight. Right. Maybe looking a little rough at this point in the period. Now both teams are skating hard and really making it chippy. Yeah, they certainly are. Well, I got to give credit to Medfield. They came to play tonight. And they're going to pick up a huge win in the TVL. Abbott over to the left circle. Trying to put that one in, and he was trying to set up Simos. Simos along the near side corner. Behind the net, Abbott. Abbott trying to turn it around. 240 and counting left to go in regulation. Connor Delaney sets it up on the near side, coming up quick tire. Here comes Sloan. Saparoshitz. Simos wraps that one around the boards. Fifteen and counting left in this third period. A 5-1 lead for the Medfield Warriors. Right now just pretty much trying to run out the clock. Here comes the Warriors. Turned away by Sheamus. Now quickly coming down Hamlet. On the right circle as he was trying to take it around the net. Ah, that little extra something there. Yeah, looks like Midfield's already going for one penalty here. Ooh, the official just got tripped up. Yeah, maybe there is something with the yeah, ice, there. I think there is. I mean, there's a lot of people have been going down tonight. John Schofield was the one with the late push. This game's certainly getting uh, very chippy between these two teams. I don't know what was up with that late push, but you just gave the Hillers, looks like actually a two-man advantage. We're gonna have a five on three here. Yeah, we call them both. Well, two in the box for the Warriors. Five on three we go. One fifty-two left in regulation. Hillers with an opportunity for another goal here. Five on three. Over on the far side, Johnson. Let's turn around by Sloan. Abbott along the end boards. Simos pokes it out. Nice to This has got to be aggressive here. They need to get it quick. They certainly do. Minute 38 left on the five on three advantage. 
Both Benfield penalties, two minutes, so it'll be even strength once the power play is done with. Puck just, just not bouncing their way tonight. Certainly not. Saparoshitz to the far side. Picked up by Schofield. And smart play there. Put it back into Hiller's territory. They could go down the ice to get it. One minute left to go in regulation. And that would actually make it one minute left to go on the power play as well. Since the power play clock was a minute seven with one minute left. Hillers could go empty net here and go six on three. Up the far side. Here comes Sloan into the right circle. Takes it around the net. Puts it over to Connor Delaney. He got a ball out on the ice it looks like. Out in front. Trying to sneak it in, net is going to get knocked around. The official will place the net back in. We'll have a face-off with 23 seconds left. A 5-1 lead for the Warriors. Hillers are right now on a 5-on-3 power play. But only 23 seconds left to take advantage of it and come up with another goal. Looking for the shot, the wrister. That one is wrapped up by Matthew. Nice save. Yeah, nice, oh. nice fake to get around the first defender there. Get the shot off. And Sean Walsh on the shot attempt. Walsh puts it across. Connor Delaney picked up by Abbott. Ten seconds left. Wrister, goal. Nice shot. Abbott says, eh, why not, I'll get another point. That's his second goal of the night. He's up to 29 points overall on the season. A 5-2 ball game with four seconds left. And the two-man advantage is, is now a one-man advantage. But it will not mean much as the Medfield Warriors will come away with the victory tonight over the Hopkinton Hillers, a 5-2 final. Eric, any final thoughts? I, I think the Hillers will bounce back. I mean, they definitely uh, met their match on this game. Uh, Medfield came out and just dominated in all uh, the phases of the game. But uh, the Hillers are a great team. They've got a great coaching staff. Uh, they'll work through this one, and then they'll come back strong the next game. And I certainly think so. And sometimes you just got to have these tough nights to learn some lessons and become a better team. And I think overall this night will help the Hillers uh, learn from their mistakes and solve some of their flaws. Certainly a lot of talent on both of these rosters. And as I said, if these two teams played a best of seven series, it'd probably be a four to three kind yep. of series. It'd be a good battle to watch. <laughs> a lot of talent out there on the ice tonight. But the Medfield Warriors improved to nine, two and two. The Hillers fall to 10, two and one as Medfield takes down Hopkinton, five to two. For Tom Dings on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching this production of Hopkins and Killers Boy Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk.